everybody, this is Bahar Pruitt, Communications Coordinator with the Heber Springs Schools. I'm outside of Central Office right now, about to go in talk to Dr. Andy Ashley, our new superintendent. We wanted to do a little Q&A session with him and find out a little bit about who Dr. Andy Ashley is. All right, let's see. Dr. Ashley's office is located in Central Office, which is just underneath the Panther Den across from the Methodist Church. Let's go in here and see what he's up to today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> your favorite person's here besides your daughter. So, all right. So we have a couple of uh, questions to ask you. We're going to do like a get to know Dr. Ashley moment. So okay. tell us about the Ashley family. I am married to my wife, Lauren. Um, we've been married for 13 years. I think that's right. And then I have a daughter, AZ and a son, Slate. Cool. Okay, so tell me about AZ. What grade is she in? How old is she? What does AZ stand for? Okay, AZ will be going into fifth grade, and her name is Anna Zimmer Ashley. And so I always thought it would sound really good coming over a PA system, AZ Ashley. And so that's kind of how she came up with the, with the name. And, and Zimmer is um, part of my mother's maiden name. And you have a son named Slayton? I have a son named Slayton. And then his middle name is Harris, which is my wife's maiden name, Slayton Harris, actually. And he will be in fourth grade. Okay. So tell me about um, where you're from. I grew up in Sheridan, Arkansas. Um, my parents are still there. Went to school there, K kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, all my family are still in Sheridan. And is your family in, in education? Uh, no, not really. Um, my mother was a middle school secretary, uh, and my dad was a mechanic, and so um, just grew up working hard. Do you have any brothers, sisters? I have one brother, and he works for Entergy, and I have two nieces. Okay. And where'd you go to school besides Sheridan? I went to UCA for my undergrad i went to harding for my master's and i went to u of a for my specialist and my doctorate if you could live anywhere besides heber springs where would it be okay i would live um in colorado colorado why is that because i love the cold and i love the snow ski what motivates you to work hard it's part of who i am i think it started with my dad um and the question was that as best you can do and the answer was always no you could always do a little better and so that kind of instilled in me to always do i could always do a little better and then i think um just my relationship with christ to um you know live up to that standard more than my own standard what is your favorite part of your job the favorite part of my job is probably a couple of things but the one that's the most fun is the first day of school um i love the kindergartners i love the little guys on their first day and it'll especially be special this year because it's their first day and my first day uh, what is it that makes you laugh what makes me laugh um my daughter's sitting here staring at me um, <laughs> but it's probably um just, it's a good question. I think seeing my kids do be silly. When you were a kid, what did you want to be? You told me this before. I was going to be a doctor. Yeah. And are you a doctor? I am a doctor, but not the kind I thought I was going to be when I was a kid. What, what kind of doctor did you want to be? I was going to be a vascular surgeon. Yep. And why did you not go into the medical field? Because I, it's going to take me too long and it's going to be in school too long. So now I've been in school my whole life. I've never gotten out. I've been hmm. in school since I was five years old. How ironic. Next question is, what is your favorite sports team? Uh, my favorite sports team is the Razorbacks. Um, big Razorback, big college sports fan, uh, basketball and, and uh, football. Uh, basketball has always been my passion first. Uh, I played it, coached it, also coached football. Uh, professional wise, don't really have a team in the NBA, but um, football, uh, the Cowboys, and in baseball, the Cardinals. So we're going to take just a second. Do you mind if I show everybody? Go ahead. Okay. So this is the top part of his office. And it's a lot of Razorback. I'm guessing that's where you went to school. My doctorate and specialist was okay. in Fayetteville. 
and a lot of Cardinal stuff. He did attend the World Series game against the Rangers. And uh, there's some other stuff up there as well. We'll stop there because AZ's corner is a little messy, but we'll keep going back this way. And then my favorite part is like right over there in the corner there, if they would have played today, I was gonna put, you know, a nice little um, leprechaun when uh, the Razorbacks played Notre Dame. But and this is also my favorite, all the little Lego sets there. So tell us about those Lego sets. Those are all, um, I, I've always liked art, art, I've always liked Lego as a kid. And so several years ago, they came out with the architecture um, kind. And, and uh, so those are all places that I've been. And I've got another box full of them, of places that I haven't been yet. And so hopefully uh, get to go there. So now that my son, Slayton, uh, he likes Lego as well. So when we go places, um, we will do them um, when we get back. And so it's really kind of a neat experience uh, to do Lego of where you've been. Favorite food and drink. Favorite food and drink. Uh, drink is easy without a doubt. It's gonna be Mountain Dew, regular Mountain Dew. Uh, favorite food. I know your palate is very extensive. Yes, <laughs> if I was gonna say a favorite food to pick one, it'd probably be pretzels. Didn't see that coming. Really thought you were gonna say, you know, chicken strips. Well, I mean, hamburgers. You know, other than <laughs> oatmeal cream pies. Oatmeal cream pies and pretzels. Okay. But if it was like gonna be like a, a meal, like a genre or something, you know, it's going to be meat and potatoes. What book are you reading right now? I'm reading a book called Love Works. Um, it's by the CEO of Dollywood and Silver Dollar City, and he was on Undercover Boss, and it's just his um, method of leadership uh, and how he uses love uh, in everything that he does. If you had to sing karaoke song, what song would it be? What's your go-to karaoke song? Be Blue Christmas by Elvis. Okay. I don't think I've ever even heard that song. Yeah. I've actually done that once. So for um, this year, we'll have to do like a Christmas staff karaoke. All right. What's our last question there, okay. Izzy? If you could do any, be anything mm -hmm. for a day, what would it be? Be anything like a job? Job, whatever. Anything. Yeah. Person. Animal. Animal. Hmm. Vegetable. Mineral. I would want to be a pilot. Pilot? Yeah. Like for a commercial airline or? Um, I don't know. I, um, I, I want to work on my pilot's license. So that's something I'm interested in. Okay. So my wife told me I could do that after I finished my doctorate. She said I couldn't start any more, any more learning until I was finished with my doctorate. So I finished that and now, she, now we've moved. And so hopefully I can uh, get my pilot's license sometime soon.